it's me, Mara, with a funky spork. Hmm. You know, for dinner tonight, I'm in charge of cooking, and I'm thinking about eating something a little different. I am going to be cooking some breakfast for dinner. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a very delicious, southwestern-inspired skillet casserole that I believe you and your family will enjoy. So that dish sounds like something that might be of interest or might intrigue you. Stick around and I'll show you how I prepare this delicious, hearty breakfast for dinner dish. So one of my values and something I'm passionate about is utilizing ingredients that are either local or seasonal or better yet, both. So tonight's dinner, or should I say breakfast or brunch, incorporates something that kind of sets this breakfast apart from maybe your other traditional American style breakfast. And that is with the utilization of duck eggs. Yes, you heard me right. I am using duck eggs and these duck eggs are from a free range pasture raised duck that comes from my friends over at Sustainability on the side. I had a wonderful interview with them where we spoke about their homestead project based out of Lithia, Florida and how they utilize sustainability every step of the way. Wonderful, wonderful. Go ahead and check them out. One thing about these duck eggs that I want to show you is the size comparison from duck eggs to chicken eggs. So what I have here is a chicken egg also from Sustainability on the side from their pasture raised chickens. And this is one of the duck eggs. Look at them in comparison. The duck egg is a little bit bigger and um, I'm very excited about getting to utilize them. I hear that duck eggs have a little bit more of a rich, full flavor to them as opposed to a lot of chicken eggs, but we'll definitely have to see about that. Um, so let me go ahead and just continue to guide you throughout the steps of this process. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Lightly puncture your potatoes with a fork and place them in the center rack to cook for about 8 minutes and allow them to parbake. Once the potatoes are finished, take them out and allow them to cool for about 5 minutes. Keep the oven on. Once the potatoes have cooled off, coarsely dice into one inch cubes and set aside. Next, you will dice your bell pepper and dice your onion into one inch cubes and also set that aside. You will then dice your garlic into fine minced pieces and add that to the chopped onion and pepper mixture. Heat a large skillet on medium-high. Take your diced potato and saute them in the skillet and covered for about three to four minutes and allow them to cook for another three to four minutes or until the potatoes are lightly browned on each side. While your potatoes are sauteing, add the remaining veggies into the skillet and let them saute for about five to six minutes or until very lightly browned. Once your veggies are finished sauteing, stir in the cumin, salt, and chili powder to the mixture. Add the raw spinach once the veggies are finished cooking and let them steam for about two minutes until the spinach leaves have wilted. While the veggies are sauteing, take your duck eggs, crack them into a medium bowl, and whisk scramble eggs into a large skillet on medium high or until the eggs are well scrambled. Take a casserole container or very large pie dish and begin layering it with the potatoes, the veggies, one third cup of shredded cheese, the scrambled duck eggs, sriracha, and the final one third cup of shredded cheese. Place in the 350 degree Fahrenheit oven 
and allow to cook for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the cheese becomes well melted. All right, so the casserole is finally done. I am super excited to taste this. It looks really good. It looks really amazing. It smells wonderful. So here is the moment of truth. That is a really rich, creamy, delicious dinner. The duck egg is absolutely delicious and creamy and wonderful. And it balances nicely with the spiciness of the vegetables, with that rich cumin, the pepper, with the chili powder, and all just harmonizing wonderfully with the potatoes and with the avocado. I think this is a dish you're really gonna like. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that subscribe button just so you can get more of my videos. And to learn more about sustainability of the side, I will have their website information and all their social media information below. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this dinner. Until next time, funkies, see you soon.